Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Make sure everybody can hear me here. Turn this up just a tiny little bit. And I wanted to bring up the picture of the British pound. If you remember, right before we left you yesterday, we were setting up here at uh, 134.10. If you'll remember, we were looking at that on that very short-term pattern sequence right up here. And there's where we were yesterday. And you can see where we are today. This is a big win. So make sure you lock in something because, you know, sometimes these markets can reverse. Uh, we've got rockets red, red glare going. I hear from Bloomberg that he's fired 100 rockets from Iran into Israel. And uh, gold has actually backed off $5 from that level. So who knows? But we're having big moves today in a lot of different things. And that usually means there's going to be something more dramatic than someone would actually think that it might be. So I don't know what that means, but I just heard a guy on Bloomberg say pretty much uh, the same thing. So that's the that's the British pound. You remember we were watching this uh, Dow Jones uh, and it had a pretty big break. But believe it or not, folks, this this in the midst of all this stuff, we could not even take out yesterday's low. We matched it, but we didn't take it out. We make it and with the with the S&P totally different. Look what happened with the S&P. If you take the S&P and look at it and just for kicks and giggles, what we're going to do is look at it on a 13-minute chart so you'll be able to see this big. How many people want to guess what this is? This is what we call an AB in the midst of a war. AB equal, oh, I better draw it where it belongs. Sorry about that. Oh, boy. Traveling really sucks. Hold on. Here's your AB leg. You rallied up yesterday, and you come down. You get to 46, the low was 30. Look where the rally back folks stopped, right on the money at the 382, and that's what we're doing right now. If we start getting below here, then there's going to be trouble in River City. But, you know, some of these markets are not acting like it's any big deal. Usually back in those days, you know, gold would be up $50, $60. But we do have something that we talked about yesterday in the video that we sent out early in the morning. This morning when it was like five o'clock in the morning we had this big run here and that, that seemed like a lot because that was a dollar and a half and I said okay get ready to buy the first 382 retracement on this because this is what you look for and there it was here at 67.33 okay the low was 67.14 and that my friends is a four-handle move four thousand dollars and it's 